All right, so today I am in front of Ulta. It's super early right now. What time is it? It literally just turned exactly eight o'clock in the morning. So uh, I'm gonna need to chug some caffeine before I go in here, but I wanted to do another video where I get a makeover in a store. So I did this with Mac, did it with Bare Minerals, and I'm doing it with Ulta today. I wanted to say thank you to Ulta because they were awesome and opened up the store early, like the employee got here early to do this video, which I didn't ask them to do they just like volunteered that so that was super nice of them i'm gonna have the mac video and bare minerals video linked down below but i'm excited for ulta because ulta has so many different brands that they're not limited to one specific thing all i told them was to not use bare minerals since i just did the video on the bare minerals one but any other products like go for it the makeup artist has agreed to do this i'm not going to show their face i'm just going to show their hands and talking through things but if you enjoy these makeover videos don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me know down below where you want to see it next and we could do that i'm filming on my new sony camera right now which i am so excited about so hopefully this video quality is amazing but if you're new here i upload every monday wednesday friday 6 p.m zip time let's go get a makeover drink some caffeine first Like, are we going for today? Do whatever you think. I kind of want something like glam, like almost like prom makeup, like clean glam, you know? Clean glam. Yeah. Okay, so like a little bit of glitter. Yeah, sure. Green liner. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then as for skin, are you more dry, oily, or combination? Dry. Okay. I have an SPF and moisturizer on right now, but that's it. Okay, perfect. Are you okay if I wipe it off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she's starting off by cleansing my skin using a micellar water and a couple cotton pads. This felt so nice. I felt like I was getting a facial or like at the spa. Very nice technique there. Then she's adding a glass skin serum. I'm going to have all the products she used listed down below, but I believe this one was by Peach and Lily. And I really liked how this felt and it also just did give that like glass skin kind of appearance. So she's just working that into my skin. I like that she took her time on the skincare and she just had really good technique, like it felt nice. So then she's going in for an eye primer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I've never tried this one actually, but I liked that it had some kind of like pigment to it. I really like when eye primers have color to it so it just conceals some of the stuff on your lid. She did a good job of talking through what she was using as she was putting it on me and what she was doing. So for eyeshadow, she was using a combo of the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette with a couple shades from the Jackie Aina palette. So she said that she put, what did she put? Tempura on the lid and she mixed like a couple different shades and then she just used like different browns into the crease to kind of deepen everything up and she spent a while blending the browns. And then she used kind of like a light gold shade for my lid. I believe this was from the Modern Renaissance palette. She also went in with a liquid Stila liquid eyeshadow afterwards but I think right now she's just using a gold shade from the palette and then right here she's tapping some of that Stila glitter over top. So she spent a while on the eyes. I cut a lot of this down just so it wasn't you know, too much to watch, but now she's priming my skin. She used a Dermalogica Blur Primer, which is one of my favorites actually, and she worked it into the skin really nicely and let that sit while she finished up on the eyes. She used a deep maroon shade from NARS. I'll have the exact shade down below, but I really liked what she did with the eyeliner because she smudged it, but it also still looked clean because she used this Q-tip as you're seeing here to clean up the line afterwards. Even though she used a like smudgy kind of pencil liner technique, I like that she cleaned it up afterwards and it all came together really nicely. So here's doing the same thing on the other eye, first applying the pencil, then kind of smudging it out, and then using a Q-tip to clean up the line. I never do my eye makeup first, so I usually don't use any kind of product to clean up the line, but I do really like how it looks. So then she's applying a like champagne color to my brow bone. She said that she thought that would be a nice compliment with the lid color. And I also rarely do a brow bone highlight anymore. I don't know why. So for my brows, she kept it pretty natural. She said she just kind of wanted to, you know, add a little bit since I already have permanent brows on. So I believe she was using the Benefit Gimme Brow Pencil here and just adding a tiny bit of shape. And then she tied back my hair using a nice little spa wrap here. Felt very fancy. Wow. And then for foundation, she used the A Cosmetic CC Illumination, which is one of my favorites, but 
I usually have to mix the shade or do something to it because it's not a perfect shade match. And she did go in the shade Fair here and it definitely looked like a little bit off, just the shade. It's also really hard in different lighting, you can never tell, but she's just blending that using an a Cosmetics foundation brush. And I like that she was stippling instead of like swir using swirling motions just to get the best kind of coverage. And we had a good time, you guys. We were just talking the whole time. She was like, she was just great. I really liked her. And then she's going in with that same eyeliner, I think, for my waterline. And then I think she's also kind of like smudging it down below. She hasn't applied concealer yet, so she did do that before concealer. I think she just wanted to blend some of that down there first. And I liked that she used this kind of red shade because it kind of made my eyes pop a bit. So now she's going in with concealer and she is using like kind of a fluffier brush to blend that around. You guys, this video was a nightmare and a half to edit, so I apologize if some of the clips are in like a weird order. I think I got it right, but I really can't tell at this point. I've been editing this video for like over 10 hours. Okay, so then she's using a sponge to kind of help out with the texture. Here we're going in with concealer. Wow and concealing the under eyes that need lots of concealing. I think she actually did a couple layers of concealer and she said that she didn't want to set the concealer. So I know she didn't set it, she didn't want to add a powder, but she did powder the rest of my face. And I like that she pressed on the powder first instead of just blending away the liquid product underneath. And then she was applying a mascara to my natural lashes. She did go in with false lashes afterwards, but first she just wanted to coat my natural lashes. And then she also cleaned up some of the powder here. So then she went in to apply false lashes and she used velour lashes. I'll have the exact style down below. I think this was the first velour lash I've ever tried and I really liked the style of them. I felt like they could have been trimmed a tiny bit. I think they were a little tiny bit too long, but it, it looks you know totally fine and I think it works. Then she's applying some mascara to my lower lash line. Here's me liking it. <laughs> and then she is just kind of cleaning up some of the fallout, probably. So for this hat, for the highlighter, have you ever used a long cream highlighter? No. Oh I'm my excited. god, touch it. It's like so Ooh, creamy and it just melts into like your skin. Buttery. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited. So. Oh. So she went in with a Lancome highlight here that is so pretty and I ended up actually ordering it, but I really liked how this looks. It's like a gold shade, but it's it somehow works on my skin tone, it doesn't look too dark. And then she was going in with a bronzer. She actually used a combo of two different products for the bronzer, I believe. I remember we were talking about just like combining products and how that often works out the best. Here she's applying the Rocketeur blush, which smells so good. Then she was going in with a NARS lip liner. She used the shade Morocco for the lip liner. Then she used the NARS Velvet Matte Pencil in Good Times, which is one of my favorite shades. So she applied that all over. I really liked the lip color that she ended up doing. And then she added a little bit more highlight to my Cupid's bow and then sprayed it with some Tarte Setting Spray. She said this one had like gold flecks in it or something. I'd never tried this one. And then she just fanned me off. And here's the final look. She added a little bit more to my inner corner. I used use some of that Lancome highlight, just to add a pop in there and brighten everything up towards the inner corner. And then we are basically done. It looks really good. Thank oh you. God. You did so <laughs> good. Them. So excited. And now I'm gonna have to do my makeup for today. I, I love the eyes. It's like simple, but like... Like boom. Yeah. It looks so pretty. It looks yeah. really good. Thank I mean, you. You walked in looking pretty already. So. <laughs> well, I look like a different person now. <laughs> yeah. I love that highlight. I might buy that actually. All right, there's no one in this parking lot right now since it's so early. I think the mall literally just opened, so I'm gonna show you guys outside. But she did so good. Like, oh, look at that highlight. So I ended up buying the highlight, and I also bought a Lancome blush. So yeah, here's the makeup and natural lighting. I'm gonna get in the car. Oh my god, I love it. I think she did so good. The foundation shade is a little bit off, but that's because it cosmetics, it's hard to find like a shade match. Overall, the skin looks so nice and just like healthy. I love the highlight, blush, bronze. I mean, literally everything. Everything looks great. I love that the eyes look dramatic, but the actual eyeshadow is like pretty soft colors. We basically just talked about food the whole time. It was amazing. She knew her shit when it came to products. I don't know, I just really liked how she did makeup. Like, she mixed a lot of the products, which I also love doing. She didn't seem to like 
do something because you're supposed to do it. She was very talented. Let me know what you guys think down below, but also just the way that she was doing the makeup. She was very like conscious of the steps that she was doing and priming and prepping the skin and talking through the products and yeah, she just did amazing. So thank you so much to Old to Northgate. You guys rocked. Yeah, I'm keeping this on for the rest of the day, man. It was definitely, I think, the best one so far, like between the Mac and Bear Minerals, Ulta, you win. You win life. So let me know down below if you are in Seattle and you work at a makeup counter and they would let me film, definitely feel free to email me. I've been reaching out to Macy's, to different makeup counters all over to see if I'm able to film there. So if you have any connections, let me know down below. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. But the food is really good too. I love you. <laughs> I love that you love food. I love I could talk about food all day. <laughs>